welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. So for this episode, I just wanted to feature uh, two more movie posters that I received in the mail uh, not too long ago. Uh, I have put them up on my wall, uh, but I wanted to talk about them, as I said in my previous uh, poster review video, uh, where I covered the uh, John Wick poster as well as the Stand By Me poster. It's right there. I received my Ferris Bueller's Day Off poster as well as my other uh, John Wick as well. Uh, the Ferris Bueller poster is an 11 by 17. And here it is. Uh, so it's going to just look awesome. Um, right behind me there, there's a spot. I've got a nail in the wall as well. Uh, and that's where it goes. Uh, that wall has turned out uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the 11 by 17s, I did discuss it, uh, are great size if you want to add volume to your room, uh, qu quantity. Uh, there's a lot more space, obviously, for an 11 by 17 than there is for the uh, 24 by 36s. Uh, 16 by 20 is also a nice, uh, nice size as well, and I have a few of those. Uh, 16 by 20s are very nice. But yeah, if you're a huge movie fan, retro movies, 80s movies, and you want to fit a lot of posters on your wall, obviously you're going to go for a smaller size, right? Uh, there is something to be said about the larger posters. Uh, they, are, they have a really nice presence to them. They're really cool. But yeah, as far as quality goes, I did discuss in my last video that uh, I don't go out and get majorly expensive posters. I don't get original prints or, you know, one sheets or whatever they're called. Uh, I just can't afford to do that, you know, quite frankly. I love a lot of movies and I want to display a lot of movie posters on my wall. And in order to do that, uh, I've got to make some, you know, budgeting decisions. And uh, this poster here, I believe was $2 on Amazon. <clears throat> now it's worth every bit of that two dollars <laughs> it's not the best quality poster uh it it came from asia um yeah two dollar poster uh you know you can tell if, if you look closely at it you know maybe on camera it doesn't look so bad uh, if you look closely at it there's imperfections uh but it makes a statement it makes its point and and that's the whole purpose of these posters is you know to show you them and uh when people come down they're not poster movie poster connoisseurs uh they're not going to look at them and go oh these aren't you know I, i'm sure they probably wouldn't say anything anyway if they thought that but they are very nice uh representations of of movies that i grew up with and that i love so that's the point that's all that matters so yeah this is an awesome poster uh, from an awesome John Hughes movie released in 1986. Uh, absolutely love this film and love this poster. And uh, it, you know, it's a great addition to my collection. So I'm really happy to have it. <clears throat> and then my second John Wick poster uh, that came in. This is a 24 by 36. Uh, I'm just going to grab it and uh, we'll talk about it briefly. Hopefully there's no glare. So there it is right there. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's see if I can try to... Yeah, I guess, sorry folks, that's the best I can do. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so this is a 24 by 36. Really cool poster. There's not, you know, there's not a lot going on with the poster, but uh, yeah, there is no way to escape that glare. Uh, this is, yeah, I guess this is all right. Uh, but yeah, 24 by 36, uh, cheap Walmart frame, uh, is still a $20 frame, but, uh, you know, a lot better than frames that are 40, 50, 60 and above, right? Uh, awesome poster, awesome franchise. Uh, it's got the release date at the bottom there, October 24th, 2014. Uh, to say I was late to the party as far as these movies go is an understatement. Uh, the only, um... The only way I found out actually about these movies was from a coworker. Uh, he's a uh, he's a gun enthusiast and he's a sport shooter. He competes um, in sport shooting, 
and that's probably one of the reasons why he loves uh, these movies so much because there's a lot of gunplay in these films. Uh, he did mention mention it to me and I went to watch it and I absolutely fell in love with these movies. They are awesome action-packed movies. I love the fact that Keanu Reeves does his own. If you go on YouTube you'll see that he does a lot of his own gun work. Uh, he also does a lot of martial arts training as well. Uh, but a lot of the uh, a lot of the gun work in in the movies is him, and uh, I appreciate that so much. Uh, I appreciate the fact that he's he doesn't have a stunt double doing everything for him. Uh, that he wants to uh, you know make it as authentic as possible. So that's what I appreciate about uh, Keanu Reeves, the actor, as well as these films. But these are just awesome, like just kick ass movies. Absolutely love them. And this poster is going to be a great addition to the, uh, the movie collection, movie poster collection. This is poster number four of one, two, three. There's got to be another poster somewhere. Oh, yeah. Th uh, this is poster number four of my movie poster collection that is not a retro poster, not an 80s movie poster, or even 70s, late 70s. Uh, the other ones are my Wizard of Oz poster, my other John Wick poster, and of course my Lord of the Rings poster as well. Uh, but yeah, I want to do a feature on the movie, on the franchise. I want to talk about it a little bit more in depth. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested in watching a video like that at all. Uh, but yeah, uh, two more awesome posters to add to my movie poster collection. Uh, really happy about them. I got spots for them on my wall. I also have posters in my storage room as well that I like to switch out. So <clears throat> yeah, if you're new to the channel, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Uh, I cover content, mainly movies uh, of the 1980s, but I also uh, do 80s pop culture. Uh, that's where my videos, uh, it's movies and pop culture of the 1980s. And I also touch on movies and popular culture from other decades as well. So thanks for checking out the channel. And uh, thank you very much to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you coming on board and uh, supporting the channel. This has been the 80s Movie Den. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.